You can also create lessons by using video. Incorporating video into your lessons is a great way to assess the student's understanding of a lesson that's being taught. So again, to create those videos, you can go to either create button, create here or create here. We're gonna just go right here. And then we're gonna click on video. When we create videos in Nearpod, there are several ways that you can get the videos. And at the top, it will show you. You can either choose from the video library, but remember these are already pre-made videos with questions embedded, and we are trying to step away from that and create our own. You can upload a video from YouTube. You can actually search your own videos that you have made and create it, or you can upload a video from your drive. Um, we can look at one way um, that I like to use is YouTube. Now, although these videos are already existing, um, you can add in your own personalization to these videos by adding in questions. So I'm gonna go and click on the YouTube one. Once I click on YouTube, it'll ask you either to search um, or you can paste the YouTube link. If you wanted to find a YouTube link prior to and you knew which video you were going to, you would just simply right click and paste here or you can search here. Um, the good thing about this is in Nearpod, it has the safe search feature automatically turned on. So you're not picking up anything that's inappropriate for the children. So let's say, for example, I wanted to do the little red hand. Once I type in the title, I can click um, on the search button. And it will bring up several options. Now, of course, before you click on which option, you can vet all of these prior to and then go in and make your selection. So I'm going to uh, just select this one. It's a read aloud. And once I select it here, I can play it myself. Um, how it is, if I chose not to take that one, I can go in with this one. It's a level reader. Or I can go in with this one, which is another story. And just because I'm clicking it, it doesn't commit me to it until I press on the save button. Um, I think I'm gonna go with a book just because I want them to see the, the elements of the story. So once I click on that, I'm gonna click on save. And while I'm doing that, it tells me my video will be ready shortly. So here is the book that's he, um, that we added from the YouTube and down here is where we're going to press play. Now, when we get ready to add an activity in, we can always stop and add that activity in as we see fit. So for example, before the story even starts, if I want to ask, what is the title of the story? Right here, I can start off by clicking on add an activity and I can ask an open-ended question or a multiple choice. Those are your two options when you're doing questions that are embedded into your YouTube videos. So I'm going to click on open-ended question. And I'm going to type my question in here. And then I'm going to click on save. So my question will appear here before the story even begins. And so now I can press play. If I wanted to add in some more, of course, I can just add another question in based on the text that was read aloud. Um, for example, who was the main character in the story? I can do this as multiple choice. And then I'm gonna click on my correct answer here, just like we did before, and then save. And throughout the story, um, as it's being read to me, I can add in various activities here. For my students to answer. This will keep them from zooming through the story because they cannot get past any points of the story until they answer the question.
And then I can ask here, what did she bake? Pizza. Bread. And then I'm going to click on my correct answer. And then once I'm done with my entire uh, question and answer session and my embedded questions, I'm going to click Save. And then here is my video, the little red hen, and it has the questions embedded. Now, if you hover over it, you will notice that you can do this in live participation mode. You can do it in student pace mode, or you can do it front of the class mode. Front of the class mode just allows the students to focus on the, um, the video at the front of the class, and the questions are still asked on their devices so that they can make the correct answer choice, and you can assess their understanding.